Now there are still thousands of residents in the dark this evening. As you can see on this map, the areas that are shaded in orange are still without power. We're gonna pull up that map to show you. 13 on your side reporter Emma Nicholas is live in Cedar Springs getting a first-hand look at the damage in the area without power. Emma, what does it look like out there? Sarah, yeah, we are on 16 Mile Road in Cedar Springs, just over by Cedar Springs Middle School. And the damage in this area isn't too bad. I want to show you this down tree beh behind me here. Uh, we've been hearing generators all day up and down the street in this area and, and all throughout Cedar Springs for the most part. Tons of people still without power. Some of them are beginning to get it back this tonight, but there are many people slated for that Wednesday expectation. And we spoke with one neighbor who says that thankfully due to his generator and this cooler weather today, that's been a lifesaver. Yeah, we uh, well, they say by six o'clock tonight, so we'll hope for that. And if not, we'll just keep dealing. I spent as much time in the basement as I could and just tried to lay low and uh, went for a ride a couple times to cool down the AC in the truck and did that kind of stuff. We were, we were laughing with some of the neighbors. A lot of lo uh, mowed lawns out today. That's something that people have been doing to kill the time, just getting yard work done. Um, and like I said, a lot of people in this area are beginning to get their power back, but definitely check that outage map because there are parts of Cedar Springs that are still slated for that noon Wednesday um, time slot to get their power back. Now, a lot, another thing is the businesses that were strained by these power outages, and we talked to quite a few of them. We'll have more from them coming up tonight at 11. Sarah, I'll go ahead and send it back to you.